Natasha, pronounced Natasha, and Michelle, pronounced Michelle. Yes, and spelled <laughs> Michelle actually. Um, so, well, I was gonna say we're sisters, but um, we're also both writers, and we get a lot of questions about ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we're just answering them all in one video, so that we never have to answer these out loud again. Yeah, but we probably will. So. Well, yeah, well, because we're very polite. So, mm-hmm. okay. too polite. Too polite, some would say. (laughs) Sorry. Um, Our number one top asked question ever, are you twins? And then when we say no, the next question is, are you sisters? Are you sisters? And it's like, so you know we're twins, twins, so. Yes, we are sisters, not twins. Um, Our next question is, who's older? Which is me. I'm older. Just Michelle always likes to be older. I'm 22, (laughs) she's 25, we're three years apart. I'm older, so I like to be older. Saying. Yes. Yeah, it is. You're okay with that. Though. You're all Michelle always likes to be older. Well, story, it's just the way it happened. That so. is the way it happened. It is the way Three it years happened. apart, 22, 25. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For the second time I said that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it the first time. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we're not 22 and 25. Um, we're going to pretend we are. We also video. get this question, especially when we're out, which is, how many kids do you have? Because we have, like, a posse. We know? have, like, we're, we have a enough for... Us. A good group discount mm-hmm. rate. Yeah. I have two. For like a hockey team, you know? Do you have a hockey Although team? Although I don't really like hockey, so like basketball is something. We do <laughs> have enough for a basketball like. team. That's legit. With a backup, too. I have four. I have four children. She has four. I have two. Mm-hmm. Um, but how do you write like that? This question is mostly for you. People ask me this, too. I'm like, I just, like, I feed them snacks and they, <laughs> they so give me two minutes. things that I do where I put my laptop there and I put my fingers on it and I, like, type... The words come really out. fast. Words come out. And then the kids come and they're like, ah, mom, mom. And it's like, right. you know, you get interrupted a lot. But yeah, somehow the stuff gets done. All of it. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. How many books have you written? I could ask this question. Actually written. Both of us. Oh, boy. This is a very broad question, though. Like, you mean like finished? Mm, no, because, <laughs> well, yes. Because my next question is how many unfinished books do you have? Okay, so how many books have you finished? I have three. They're not published. Are they on them. only three? They're, They're finished. Oh, technically I have five. Yes. But the other two <laughs> no, are still the first still finished. finished. The first okay. two that I finished, they're terrible. I'm they sorry. They're never going to see the light of day. But the three that I'm working on now are because I plan on publishing them. Mm-hmm. Soon. Next year. Look for it on Instagram. You mean you're going to read a book on Instagram? <laughs> no, I'm going to announce it on Instagram. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Facebook. <laughs> we'll put that link down there. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. I have... I don't know how many, probably like a dozen that are finished at least, and a, more than that that are unfinished. She actually finishes stuff. I do sometimes. I yeah. take forever writing things. Every once in a while. <laughs> she has four kids. No, that's not because really I'm a really slow writer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ridiculously slow writer. I want my first draft to be the draft, which is why I have two yeah. that are terrible that I'm not doing anything with. Because <laughs> I refuse you, to edit them. You could still. I refuse to edit them. <laughs> I feel like you have edited them, like, a lot. And then every time you think about it, you're like, I can't do this again. What's the next question? How many um, unfinished? Yes. Yeah, we said that. How many How unfinished, many unfinished books, books do you have? Yeah. I don't know. See, this thing, I have this thing where I don't title my books right away, and then I have to title the document so I can save it, and then I started titling my documents, Michelle's book, with, like, a letter on it, and then I got all the way to letter, like, mm, I don't know, P, Q. That's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. They're, none of them are finished. That's the thing. Well, <laughs> oh, that's actually, more no. than I have. One of those is my first book that I'm going to be publishing next year. But the rest of them are unfinished. There's like, I don't know, 27? Because besides the letters, there's a bunch of like ones that just had numbers for some reason. I don't know. I started when I was like 13. So oh, that's my next question. I didn't title a single When thing. did you start writing? Oh, wait. I didn't mean to jump into it. That's you didn't okay. answer how many unfinished books I did. Have. I said like I have more than a dozen that are unfinished. Oh. And then you well, said I how I like I do finish things. But yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, but did you start at 13? Or yep. We, we were younger Well, I don't that, know. Though. No, we started making up stories while we yeah. were playing. <laughs> playing. We played pretend. And then, I don't know, I think I wrote my first, like, book when I was, like, 12 or 13. That's so bad. I have, like, stories that I wrote from, like, third grade. But for school assignments, because I wrote school assignment <laughs> stories, too. Were they, though? Or I can't even novels. really... Uh, I can't, they're not novels. I think I finished my first novel when I was like. And I think they're unfinished too. Or something. 
Yeah, I <laughs> my first novel. Oh no, I did no, that's true. I did finish one for Writer's Craft. It was always Me true. too. Handed yeah. it in for an assignment. Mm-hmm. Got hundred percent. Got hundred percent. Yep. Hundred percent. The 100%, teacher said. Hundred percent. Yep. Teacher Ow. said your heart is really in it, and I think that was the best comment ever. However, she was a terrible. It was the same teacher. She obviously really loved. <laughs> she it. was a very nice teacher. She loved me so much, but it's and not, my heart that, was in it, but not very good writing style. That's one of your terrible books, isn't it? That's, that Pretty was the first bad. one. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that terrible. Anyway. It's not that good either. Um, <laughs> You're funny. Uh, Pretty bad. Okay. What do you write about? That is who wrote those. Who wrote that? That question. People. People. Uh, characters, but characters. they're people. They just do so. things and we write whatever they do. It I think the last really time neurotic. you asked me, last time you asked me what I was going to write for my NaNoWriMo novel, I oh, said yeah. some love story. Some love story. That's, yeah, that's is. actually what it is. Like, some love I'm story. Some love story, yeah. It's got two people in it. It's what we both write. It's like a love story with stuff around it. Yeah. You know. Stuff they do around. things. They fall in love. They do whatever. things. Fall in love. <laughs> That's what my characters do. They, they, they do they things. Fall they fall in love. love. <laughs> they usually play a sport in my books. I don't know why because I never do sports. but Mine are usually about artsy people. I've got one about a singer-songwriter. I've got one about an unsuccessful singer-songwriter. Are all the people in your book I've got another one about a librarian. That's a very artsy thing. What? Artsy? That's very no, like, my novel, um, that the first one that I'm about to publish, library, about Grace, person. she's actually a very successful singer-songwriter. Yeah. Bo is not. Bo is my next oh, favorite Oh, that's character. what I asked you. So I forgot immediately what I asked you because I got stuck on the librarian theme or anything. <laughs> Librarians are artsy. <laughs> kind yes. Of. Sure. We'll go with that. They do everything. Do you ever get this question on any of the... Fam- do you ever get this question... When you find out, when people find out we both write, do you write similar books or in a similar style? What, do I write similar books no. to you? Yes. Or in a similar style? And the answer is no. Uh, no. And no. And actually, I think people But think, also kind of yes. Well, okay, we both like love stories. Like similar like people. themes. But similar themes, but our styles, styles are really different. And about different things. Yeah, about different things. Although I like writing about art, or like artists and musicians too, but... But your books are all YA. Yeah. But and even then, are like new this, adults, so yeah. The but even are then, older, our styles are really different. different. I think people think we're more similar than we are because we look slightly, vaguely the same. We're very similar. Our books are not. We are, are very similar. similar. We yeah. have similar tastes. Okay. Well, we oh, do good. the same things. <laughs> well. We work at the same place. We do. <laughs> our husbands are practically the same person. Our husbands are very similar. Oh <laughs> yeah, my goodness. The same taste. Yeah. Um, they're very similar. Yeah, but our books are, and actually, we would read the same stuff too, except we do read we the don't same actually stuff. write the same stuff. We just have very different styles of writing, which isn't mm. a bad thing. It's just a very different. I think it's actually a good thing. It is a good thing. It's probably a good thing because people always get confused between us already. So <laughs> next thing you know, you're gonna have them and be like, "It was written by that one," or maybe the other one. No, I don't know. Our books are so our books. Our names are so different that like our seeing names. it without knowing who we are or seeing our faces, people won't get confused. Right. Right. That's I, our. I would hope so. <laughs> I would. I would imagine so. Mm-hmm. That's our ten questions. Now we're gonna do something fun and ask each other questions, but we did not tell each other what the questions are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fun for us because usually I we know, know what we're thinking. Okay, my first one for you is a serious one. Oh, right, one. I'm first. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Or am I first? <laughs> no, no. Ask me questions. I'm fine. I'm good. But if I'm asking the first it's question, me first I'm first. If I'm answering. <laughs> Or just ask me a question. Okay, your first question is, what's your book Finding Grace about? Because I know you would prefer to be asked that question over anything else. Wow, that was really fast. What's what? What? What is your book Finding Grace about? Oh, my book, Finding yeah, Grace. Great. The yeah. one that I was talking about. So, Grace, okay, no, so your my book. book, Finding Grace, which mm-hmm. I am publishing next year. I'll be announcing it on Instagram and Facebook. My book, Finding Grace, is about a singer-songwriter. Her name is Grace, and she gets a call to come home to PEI, where she originally comes from, because her grandmother is sick in the hospital. And so she goes home, and on the way, she meets this guy. His name is Alex. He is a film mm-hmm. student. Sorry. <laughs> on the way home, on she the way meets home, this guy she named meets Alex. She meets a guy named Alex, like on the airport, basically. It's very Hollywood. And then he's a film student, and he asks her to help him with an assignment to make a documentary. So she's the subject of his documentary. Mm. It's a coming-of-age slash love story. Mm. Can't give away all the secret stuff. Read it. That was a big spoiler. It's a love story. Hmm, I wonder if I'll It's what I write. Home. It's a coming-of-age slash romance. Yes. Okay. I like that. It's a good book. I've read it. <laughs> Our mom read it. She liked it a lot. My mom loved it. It was she really nice. It. She, lo- she liked it better than my book. She loved it. And she I was did. actually kind of surprised that she liked it as much as she did. She really liked it. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, we love mom. you. We love you. Not that surprised. I'm kind of surprised. 
All right, what's that? But she did leave me a couple comments that were super helpful with editing, I must say. Mm-hmm. She catches things, which is good. She, she does. She does catch <laughs> things. She reads my books and she's like, your book was so nice, but you still have three mistakes now. I'm like, oh. The thing goodness. is, Grace has been edited and edited and well, edited and read by other people. Yeah. And then mom read it and was like, you know you did this on this page and you did that on that page and it was different. And I was like, wait, hang on. You remembered the pages? She writes them down. Yeah, she does. Oh, like this, though, because she's left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving along. <laughs> What's your... Yes, um... it's, a, it's, a, it's a Christian contemporary new adult coming of age romance. romance. It's got a lot of adjectives. <laughs> a lot of, I was going to say categories, but sure, that too. Adjectives. <laughs> Adj- <laughs> Were you going to ask me a question? Oh, I thought you were asking all no, five No, I said we go questions. back and forth. Back and forth. Let's yes. do that. I was very unclear about what we'd I'm be doing sorry. in the video, and it's okay. very unplanned. We it's don't right. typically do unplanned things. Hello. Let's How's everybody doing? Okay, question number one. What is the weirdest thing you have Googled? Okay, the uh, writers always Google stuff. Actually, I have Googled how to, like, make bombs for one how of my like books. How to, like, make bombs? How to, like, make bombs. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, no, the other day, I Googled how, what the, what the plural of claws, like, Santa Claus is, and, like, Google came through for me and was, like... Well, like, it's like the first thing, claws, the clauses, the clauses. <laughs> that was exactly what I wanted to write, and I wasn't trying to pluralize the it. So I googled that, I, and the first like thing that Google popped up was like, so if you're pluralizing the clauses, like Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and I was like, oh yeah, that is exactly literally what I'm doing. It by the way, it's C L A U S E S, not whatever you guys thought you were doing with apostrophes that don't belong in words. Because apostrophes are possessive. They're always possessive. They're not always. Possessive. They're not for pluralizing. Writership number one. I don't know if that's the weirdest thing I've Googled, though. I've Googled a lot of weird things. Um, how to make bombs is kind of weird. <laughs> but I feel like <laughs> that's something a non dramatic violent person. I have, I have looked up a lot of ways, like, people <clears throat> can get hurt without dying. I had somebody very thorough, like, after, I had somebody very thoroughly explain to me, like, what's the best, best, What's the best place for somebody to get shot and be hurt and not be able to get away, but also not die? Oh my goodness. Oh, she was very helpful. That's very specific. <laughs> it was very specific. She was very helpful, though. The same book, though, too. The, the bomb very specific. It was very specific. Is that your sci-fi? One of them, yeah. Your sci-fi. Here's a sci-fi. I have, I, I have a sci-fi series. Yeah. It's yeah. coming sometime. I don't know. Maybe next year. I don't know. Sometime. All right. Another question for Michelle. <coughs> How often does Joel write lyrics for you to put in your books? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I promise I credited him in the copyright I, page. I wrote a song I about a singer-songwriter without realizing that eventually there would have to be some song lyrics well, in it. Yes. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, there's song lyrics in it because, you know, she's a songwriter, so it makes sense. It's not that much of a spoiler. <laughs> but I don't write songs, but my husband is a songwriter, so. He wrote a song for, for your for Instagram help. post the I other asked day. him for <laughs> help. <laughs> With a song, and he was all like, what's it about? So I gave him, like, a topic for this song, and then he just, like, wrote a bunch of lyrics. So he's been credited Did on he... my copyright page as a contributor is it an actual to song? my book. It's a song. It, it's got, like, a melody. Like he wrote the song. Yeah, I don't know I don't remember. Goes. He didn't actually write the music for it. He just wrote lyrics. But it, there's, like, a melody in his head. Every time he thinks oh. about the song, he sings it to me. And it's, like, that's a really good melody. When are you ever going to so, write it? Like, as an actual so song. So you have heard it. Like, he has sung it's it song. to you. Yeah. I told him to put it in my key because Grace is a woman and it's not in a good key for her at the moment. He doesn't <laughs> sing in a good key for us. No, well, usually he does, but that song he's is not. He's not a tenor. But tenors are not, yeah. He's a baritone. Actually, most of the stuff he does is in a, de- a decent key for me, but that song that he wrote for my female songwriter is not good for a female's voice. Mm-hmm. But whatever, yeah. it's just weird at the moment. Sorry, right. I was just curious. Wait, how often? That was the question. So how often? He's done it once. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> There's only one song. It's just the one song. Um. Well, no. Technically, there's three songs in there, but I wrote two of them. Oh. He okay. wrote the one that she did, and okay, I I'd say I wrote one and a half of them. Oh. Okay. <laughs> because okay. I did write one entirely by myself, sort of, and then he contributed to the second one that I wrote by telling me what he didn't like about it, and then oh, I changed nice. a few things. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. Make it sound better at the song. <laughs> and then he, like, basically completely mm. wrote the other one. Joel, so. by the way, is her husband. It's not just the random, that like, did we say that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I didn't remember. He's a songwriter. Joel J. Wright, you can look it up. Yeah, he has I'll link that down Spotify. below, too. He did the, the music for my D-Boy trailer, which you can find on YouTube as well. Hey, he wrote music for my trailer, too. It's not done. Being He's made, writing it's gonna more be music for my next trailer. He likes writing music for book trailers. He does, yeah. Mm-hmm. You should hit him up for your book trailer music. All right. Anyways. 
Okay, question number two. What is your favorite writing snack? Because <laughs> I know you got one. It's usually chips. But do you have a favorite? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I eat a lot of chocolate. Chocolate. Which is really bad for me. Probably. And I shouldn't be. I'm eating chips right now. Unless the two of us are going to be like old ladies and still writing books with no teeth left. No teeth. <laughs> <Just chocolate. laughs> the best way to eat We're chocolate. We're still writing and we've got I no do, teeth left. I eat a lot of chips and chocolate when I'm writing. <clears throat> it's, it's really bad. That's what we're eating at the moment. Well, not while we make this video. Although, I write... We don't want to talk with our mouths full, but we were eating. I have been eating throughout this video. I don't <laughs> I know if you know that. I did not know we that. We talk long enough that I can get a chip in. Whatever. Um, I Unless it's in the morning. I write in the morning a lot, and I drink a lot of coffee in the morning without actually eating things. Hey, that's, that's like fun. basically my writing snack. I just drink coffee. Actually, we are more similar than I actually <laughs> don't eat very much while I'm writing. I just drink a lot of coffee. Mm-hmm. So and then hydrated. eventually I'm like, wait, I'm super hungry. I should eat something. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I eat something and then I drink more coffee. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we look similar. That's yep. my favorite writing snack. Yep. Those are good questions. Thanks. Here's a good question for both of us, really. When are we ever going to finish that book we started writing? Oh, <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> we have a book. It's not a book. It's just an idea at the moment. It's a bunch of random scenes. It's a bunch don't of ideas. Yeah. Yeah, it's like three characters. Four characters. Three? I don't know. I don't even know how many characters. I honestly don't Could know what their names are either. The scenario? I think there's three characters at the moment. Anyway, it's a book. Mm-hmm. We yep. keep calling it it's that. It's a fantasy. Yeah. We, if we keep calling that, eventually book. it will come to fruition. Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll become a book. When are we going to finish it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we have time. When all the kids are in school and we actually get together and be writing. We don't actually write together. We don't write we are together. writing partners, but we don't write together. We just get together and chat, chit chat, do things like this video. We don't even do that. We, we just do complain. Much writing. I think the last time we wrote together, I wrote like three sentences. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Mm-hmm. What else? I don't even know how to finish <laughs> that. I don't know what to do with that book. Like it's <laughs> it doesn't have a plot. It's a problem. Mm. Okay, okay. That would be helpful <clears throat> if we had a plot, though. Question number three. Okay. For you. Mm-hmm. This is very exciting. Mm. You're stranded on a desert island with only one of your characters. Who is it and why? <laughs> now, you can tell me why you're stranded with this person, or you can tell me why you want to be stranded with this person. Whatever. Pick three questions. This is you like want. pick a favorite child no, and bring them not. with you No, it's not. You're not your favorite character. On a vacation. You're picking the best character to have on a, on a desert island. You have to escape somehow. Best. It's like the game okay. that we had at Somebody school. Somebody who will help me escape is what you're saying. That old school game where you had to like fish and make a raft and all that stuff, and no one ever won that game because it was the hardest thing in life. I won that game. Whatever. <laughs> it was the hardest thing in life. What is that game called? Choose a character. Somebody who will help me escape from an island. I'll help you out. Ellie is a good swimmer. And she's, she's pretty resourceful. Smart. I was going to say, Julian, <laughs> Julian is very smart. Um, if I choose, like, I don't know, post-muscular Julian. What? I don't know how what the muscles are going to help. Post-muscular Julian. <laughs> I don't know if that would help me. But, but Ellie's so resourceful. I don't know. Yeah, for his brains. But she's I mean, resourceful she's by too. getting other people to That's do things for her. Probably um, I've got a character named Harper and he's a spy. Oh, yeah, you know what? Forgot about him. That's probably a good idea. <sighs> That's a good idea. But also, <laughs> I have so many characters. <laughs> this is the problem with oh. these kinds of questions. <laughs> Did you want me to choose Julie? That was like my first thought. And then I was like, no, but Ellie must be like a good swimmer. And I like, know her way him, around an island. Smart. You would choose him. So if you're stranded on an island smart. with one of my characters, <laughs> which one would smart. you choose? <laughs> uh, no, I was just thinking I would have chosen it. Yeah, if I was choosing one of your characters? Yeah, I, I would either. Uh, I don't know. Smart. It's got to be like, I don't know. I can't choose one. But if I if I can narrow it down to three. <laughs> Fine, I'm if I, okay, I'll change the question. You can choose two. Choose two. Oh, well, Ellie and Julian. Well, like, see, this is why I didn't make it two in the first place. <laughs> or I would choose Harper and Anya because if they're a good team, too. I'm just choose two. I could choose a team. You read the team of the last show they will that just you argue watched. with each other. Oh my goodness! No, that's the last show you watched. The last show I watched was The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I, I don't think watched... any of them are actually going to get me watching off Paw Patrol tonight, which we haven't watched in a long time, and the Paw Patrol is arresting me from another island. Watching The but... Fresh Prince, okay, of Bel Air. I do not think you're going to get me. Don't off think Will Smith can help you. Will, Will Smith, Smith, maybe, but not, but not the, the character. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> moving on. I really, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I don't even know if I answered the question or not. But... Okay. Julian, I answered it for you. Julian. <laughs> How did you know? Like, that was actually, like, the first thought in my head. favorite of your characters, so. Is he really? Oh. What's your favorite of my... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, that's not my next question. My next question is a multiple choice 
There are four choices. Oh, boy. That's too many. I'm sorry. It is too many, actually. <laughs> okay, whatever. What's your... <laughs> C. I can't... <laughs> when in doubt. <laughs> All right, we're done. No! Good. <laughs> I can't even ask this question without laughing. Fine. Laugh. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas movie? A, The Mistletones. B, Christmas at Castleberry. Castleberry Hall. That's hard to say. C, The Twelve Dates of Christmas. Or D, Snow Globe. That's not fair. Your extra option is that one with the calendar. All the above. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. You can't that one time. with the calendar was the worst <laughs> compared to those four. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. It's the, I, it was cute, but like a very B movie. Cute. These are like. What's the movie? Two. These are the best B Christmas movies in life. I really, this is a tough question. The Mistletones, The Twelve Dates, what are the other ones? Christmas at Casterbury Hall and Snow Globe. Think I about got, it. I got a great story about Christmas at Casterbury Hall. Every time it gets even anywhere close to Christmas, and by anywhere close, I mean like August, September. This, <laughs> this is anywhere close in our minds. My husband decides that he wants to watch Christmas at Casterbury Hall. And he's dead serious. And I love it. I love that he's so into that movie. Eli really likes that movie, too. It's so cute. It's good. Oh, yeah, it's nice. uh, anyway. But I know that you you need to pick your most watched one. And I know what your most watched one Most watched? Oh, well. If no, your favorite one has got to be your most watched one. The most watched one would probably be The Mistletones. Only because it's got a lot of music in it. And I love music. I love mm-hmm. musicals. But those but movies what about, are all great. So. What about that part in The Twelve Days of Christmas? Where every single time she wakes up, there's that, there's that yeah, trying to like get <laughs> into the tears. Worst imitation <laughs> of that ever. No, but it's great because like every single time, that's, every time that's what you have to hear, and it a happens. Pear tree and you get to hear the twelve notes. times. Yeah. Pretty cool. Do you like but I really like Pretty Snow cool. Globe because okay, remember in Snow Globe because when she's like, all, I who doesn't to want to go dad. into Snow Globe? Oh, no, 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 wait. <laughs> with that line. 60 minutes at 350 is not the same <laughs> as 600 for half an hour. <laughs> because apparently her dad doesn't know how to actually cook things. And then they and stuff their so turkey cute. with lasagna and I want to do that. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you knew the whole time it would oh, be the guy Christmas down the hall. But Christmas at Castleberry Hall is like the most like feel good. And then at the end she discovers like she's a princess. you've ever seen. And it's like... The, the acting, acting wasn't bad. I wouldn't say the worst. The American worst. accents were bad. The acting what was, let's just go with chibi, not worse. Sorry. You know I what it is? Know. I take it back, Castleberry Hall people, you're lovely because No, it's you're not lovely the worst. and it's you're just... like the most beautiful people ever. It's probably just the script. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty so sometimes cheesy. Sometimes it's the script. It's a very heartwarming cheesy. So cute. And you, you watch it and you're that. like, that movie wasn't and then that there's well a wedding made. In but it. then you, you watch it again and you're like, this movie's awesome. See? Doesn't take that long to grow on you. There's a wedding in it. It's good. Oh, yeah, two movies. She's a princess. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, I like that question. It's great. Um, I like that question, too. What's your favorite thing about writing? This is your serious question. This is my serious question. Um, yeah. yeah, one serious question is what you told me. Mm. One serious. <laughs> so, I, so I found one. So I found one? You just found it somewhere? Did you Google, like, what are serious questions to ask writers? It. No. <laughs> I should have. It would have taken me less time. My favorite thing about writing is, like, living in, like, somebody else's world. Mine, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we are more similar than we thought. I like I that. just like, because my characters like are so answer. real to me, right? Because, yeah. yeah, and then I feel like, and I typically write a lot in first person, so I like, like, being in their heads and, like, living out their story. I like the answer because that's a lot of people's favorite thing about reading, so. <gasps> yeah. Might as well be the same yeah. thing for, that's like, writing. That's why I because I like reading. Yep. But I want to read stories that I actually really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Which I do. I'm not saying no, that sounds really wild. Write the story wow. you want to read. Self-confidence up here. Isn't that what they um, say? Yes. Write the story you want to read. Um, oh, is it my turn? Okay, my last question for you. Sorry. If you're done answering, I guess. <laughs> Forgive me for this question. Oh, goodness gracious. Will you tell us about the continuing saga of the Zac Efron dreams? <laughs> what the heck? No. <laughs> what if he sees this? That's a legit... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Hi, again. Zac Efron, please. Thank you. Um... <laughs> It wasn't a saga, okay? I just have three dreams. Three dreams. That's a, that's a trilogy. So it's just whatever. It's not a continuing saga because I haven't had any in a while. Ah, do we have any? I think I had one somewhat recently. Okay, after the High School Musicals came out, um, and then I think it was Hairspray, Seventeen again, and that other one, Harley, Thank God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the borderline horror one. Mm-hmm. I actually really like that one because his acting is amazing. He's an amazing actor. I think he is anyway. After those, I had, like, three dreams 
explicit in it. But it wasn't his character. It was, like, literally him. him. And in the third dream, he was all, we had a party or something. I don't know. And he was all, yeah, this is the third time we've seen each other. And we were, like, chums in that dream. And it was, like, he was, like, he remembered you. Friend. He remembered yeah. me in the dream. And it was, like, yeah, cool. And then I woke up from that and I was, like, that's how I realized that my dreams that Seth Rollins would actually remember that he's had three dreams with me. Yeah. I like that, though. That's my favorite part about the, that story <laughs> is that, like, he remembered you and was like, this is the third, like, dream we've shared so together. <laughs> I'm going to attribute this dreaming business to the fact that I have fallen asleep watching just some of his movies before because sometimes I go to sleep watching the movies. Watching movies. Watching two movies. That's, that's bad grammar. But anyway. Sure. <laughs> sometimes I go to sleep watching movies. So it, I, I think that those dreams came from me falling asleep watching his movies. Like, Mm-hmm. I don't know. High School Musical uh, yeah. is one that I would watch going to bed. Sometimes Seventeen again is a nice one to watch going to bed. Anything that's like lighthearted and something I've seen like a million times. To be mm-hmm. honest, I can't so that sleep the I'm I not like yeah. staying a up, up, a up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> so I'm not staying awake watching it. You know, because I've seen it. Oh, that's what you were trying to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> up and awake. I was up like, why did she like time. misspeak so badly? Yeah, okay. That's how I misspeak so badly. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. I like it. Thanks for asking me about that. Now everybody on the internet knows. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> me and all my five friends. Yep. All right. And all mine. <laughs> and all your RCS. Okay, last question for you. Let's hear the best Christmas song. Oh, I put an F in brackets, so you can just choose. The, this is worse than the Christmas The movie. best Christmas song right Let's now. Let's hear it? I don't know. Like, sing it? Sure, whatever you want. You don't have to sing it. You just tell me which one you like the best. <laughs> Singing is no slide. I don't know, but I've had the Coventry Carol stuck in my five, head for top like three, ever. Four, five, top however many you want. There's like ten of them though. Sure, tell I me. love them all. Ten, go. Uh, mash it up, mash it up. <laughs> I was start Shake dancing up the it. happiness. <gasps> oh, I love that song. You said mash it up. It reminded me of that I song. I forgot about that song. Okay, Shake I love that. The happiness. Come it's on, y'all. Time. It's Christmas time. Oh, I skipped the line. I'm sorry. Sorry, train. Shake it up. <laughs> sorry, train. <laughs> if train is watching right now, sorry. <laughs> Um, sorry to anybody who's watching. I still, like, literally, the Coventry Carol has been stuck in my head for, like, three weeks. I don't weeks. remember how that goes. How does it even go? Lily, Lily, oh, oh. <laughs> I still don't know how it goes. Lily, that little tiny child. Is this a song I actually do, know? Do, 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 do. Okay, so you got a song in your head that Lily, I don't even know. Apparently we're not that similar because I don't know the song. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's in Mom's Cute. Christmas book. That's the one I was looking at. And Mom's like, put that Christmas book away. <laughs> yeah, because that was like September two years ago. She doesn't like to do <laughs> Sorry, Christmas Mom. Um, in September. I don't blame her. Because a lot of people don't. I really like what childless is. Mm-hmm. It's a little late to walk on there. It's the sleeping. Who angels greet with phantom sleep while shepherds watch are keeping. Good one. Oh. Sorry, you can keep singing. I thought you were going to do the chorus with me. I'm Glad so I didn't start singing. Sorry. That's all right. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, what else do I... I love Silent Night. Like, that sounds so cliche, but I really love Silent Night. And Silent Night is a lovely song. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely song. It's a lovely song. And also, <laughs> no, but I think one of the, like the most like played Christmas songs is literally "All I Want for Christmas." All, All I want, want for Christmas, Christmas is you. I actually really kind of like the song. You, baby. Like, That's like mine and Eli's like couple song because <laughs> we don't have a lot of songs in common that we really like. We don't have a couple song, but we Eli really like love that, that song. song. He loves that song. Because <clears throat> Joel claims that he doesn't like that song, but I sing it to him sometimes, and then he sings along. No, so, but um, Eli loves that song. When he claims he doesn't like something, and then he does it, and it's like, it's like that time that we start, remember the first time we watched, what was that movie? Christmas at Casper. <laughs> no, no, it's the 12 Days of Christmas. Oh. <laughs> and they weren't paying any attention good. until she did the first loop, and they were like, wait a minute, what's this movie about? <laughs> Like, I have to see this now, because, by the way, you know, she's looping. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's like Groundhog Day, but with Christmas. Christmas. She and it goes through Christmas 12 days. Eve 12 times. Just and every single right. time, she, yeah, she has to, like, get it right. It's a new thing. It's cute. Right. I love that. And, and it's got time. Zach from Saved by the Bell in it. I don't yeah, know whatever his real name is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. sorry. I know what your name is, but I can't think of and it. And it also so has, sorry. what is her name? Amy? No. I don't know what her name is, either. She's really great, It's a great movie. Whatever. Love it. I'm so sorry. We should look these names up before we start talking about them. But this is a what was the other movie we did? We talked about all the movies, right? Yeah, we did. Oh, the mistletones. Oh, the mistletones. Oh, mistletones. that is the best one. You love that one the best. Did you ever answer that question? 
I said if I was gonna go for what I watched the most, it'd be the Mistletones, and the reason I watched oh, it the most and they I do, just love musicals. And they it's do musical. the snow's falling down, watching, watching it fall. Lots of people, people around. around. I don't know the words. Baby, please, please come home. home. How many times have you seen the movie that you took over? Where's the know. song? That's like their song. <laughs> and then they sing it all like soft and cute in the car, but then at the end of the movie, no spoilers, but at Spoiler. the end of the movie, he like <laughs> sings it. No, I'm not going to say the whole thing. He You're just he sings it like to her, and then she like comes up on the stage and sings with him, and it's so cute. I love it, and he's a great singer, and so is wow, she. Wow, you spoiled the entire movie. I didn't. Re- watch it anyway, guys. How could it's I possibly? It's <laughs> amazing. Possibly have spoiled the you entire just said, movie. And at the end of the movie, and said stuff no. that happens at the end of the movie. I didn't even say that song comes up at the end of the movie. They telling the denouement isn't like the the big. Spoiler. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like you when I talk said about a it's a love story, it. and I mentioned Grace and Alex. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I mean, yeah. Sorry, it's spoiled in the second chapter when she meets Alex because you already know it's a romance. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. All I All said right. was the denouement. I did not say the climax of the story or the conflict or anything like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning more about us. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Do we have, like, a theme song to, like, no. go out with? Fade <laughs> out. Fade to black. Oh, I don't Joel, know. play us a theme song. <laughs> He's downstairs doing he music. He's no. got headphones on. Fade but we can hear him. I don't canceling. think you guys can, but we can hear him playing the piano. Yep. Well, he was singing too. earlier. Can you hear him sing? I don't hear him now. I don't hear him doing All I hear now. is Chloe's water bowl. A fountain. Yeah, it sounds like a fish. It sounds like mm. it sounds like a fountain. Yeah, it, it is always a fountain, sounds like yeah. a fish tank because it's a fountain. Um, tap like fountains. Otherwise, they get the still water in their bowl and they splash it out, and then they're like, "I'll drink that off the floor." Mm, no, because <laughs> it's dirty and it's like, and then they go in your sink because they want the and then the water kids get in it from and the sink, and then it's like, "What did you do, cat?" So you have to get the cat a fountain. There, tip the cat owners. <laughs> get the cat a fountain. Get the cat a fountain. Mm-hmm. Do we put the cat downstairs. Snack because it will bug you for life. We put everybody annoying downstairs. <laughs> don't tell Joel. He's gonna probably watch this later and be like, "What are you guys talking about? I'm not annoying." I don't know if he's gonna watch all half hour of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie now. It's a movie. <laughs> so Let's name our movie. What's it called? I don't even know. We should probably should have decided that beforehand. That's all right. We'll name it later when we upload it to YouTube, and you can watch us. And I'm gonna put the links down there so that you can follow Michelle and me and other things. Bye. Bye.